Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a reveal slash review on a Louis Vuitton item that I purchased off of the pre-loved market from a Facebook group that I um, follow. So I'm going to kind of reveal the item to you, um, show you the wear and tear on it. I have been using it for a couple months now, so I have a really good feel for how it works and how it could work for you if it's something that you're interested in. I haven't had um, too many reviews on YouTube or I couldn't find too many reviews on YouTube on it, but it is this wallet here and it's called the Tannin Wallet. And um, it is technically a men's item. It is located in the men's section of Louis Vuitton on the website or in the store. But um, I am loving this, so um, we'll get into the review here in just a moment. But first of all, I want to say welcome. If you're new to my channel, my name is Janie, and I post videos on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. And I do a little bit of beauty, lifestyle, and luxury thrown in there, in there for good measure. Anyway, let's get started with the review. Okay, welcome back. Um, I'm going to do the, the review part of this video this way so that you can really see the details of the um, wallet. And um, we'll kind of get started here. So first of all, I want to give you just a few details on the wallet itself. It is called the Tannin Wallet, T-A-N-O-N. Um, you can find it on the Louis Vuitton website or even on at the store. I did purchase mine pre-loved and I feel like I got a outstanding deal because I paid about half of retail for this item and it was in really really good shape as you're going to see here in a moment. But what really caught my eye with this wallet was I was wanting something that was really kind of flat and not bulky to carry in my handbag. And also I liked it because it matches the pocket organizer that I purchased back during August at the Louis Vuitton store itself. So it is a perfect match to this little guy here. So in this little guy here, I'll do a separate review on it on how I utilize this in my um, purse on an everyday basis. So we're going to put that aside. Okay, so this wallet is three and a half inches by seven and a half inches long. So it is um, three and a half inches wide by seven and a half inches or 7.1 inches wide. Um, it does have the silver um, hardware in it. Um, I think most of the men's line is the silver hardware versus the, um, the gold like in the ladies line. Um, it has eight credit card slots, it has a zippered coin compartment, um, gussets for notes, and then additional compartments for receipts. And the inside is grained calf leather lining, and then this right here is also calf leather, and it's a smooth um, leather on it, and it is black. And I just really liked the fact that it had the black instead of it being all just canvas. So let's get started on the outside. Um, first of all, there was no issues with the glazing whatsoever. The glazing is in perfect condition. Had no issues um, with it when I got it or since I have had it, and I have had it for a couple months now. So the glazing is in perfect condition, no issues. And it is just, there are no outside pockets of this product, of this item. There is no outside pro um, pockets. Everything is on the inside. So let's get onto the inside of it. First of all, because it was from the pre left market, it did come already hot stamped with someone else's initials. And the, the initials are TS, and it's done in a really pretty hot pink. I could take this off but I'm not going to because even if I just take out the pink the indention of the TS is still going to be there it does not bother me that that is there so I am leaving it I'm not going to do anything to um, 
readjust that. Um, the Louis Vuitton Paris made in France stamp is in the silver color as opposed to the gold color that you would see on the um, women's um, items. Also, it does have, oops, let me turn it this way, it does have the silver um, zip and hardware here, and this right here does say Louis Vuitton on it. Um, the inside, you do have a little bit of the uh, monogram canvas here and here, and then this is black um, cowhide leather here, grained cowhide leather. There's a pocket here that you can put um, receipts, which is what I have. I have, well, I have a discount card there, but um, some receipts that I put in this pocket here. This pocket here is the one that they talk about that is gusseted, and that is where I keep my cash is in here. Um, I'm not, I don't have a bank card. I personally like to have cash, and I know it's really kind of odd to me that so many people don't have cash. My kids are like that. They hardly ever have any cash on them because they use their bank cards. But anyway, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight card slots here, but I don't put a card in each of those because I don't want to stretch them out. So what I have done is I have just put in here the cards that I utilize the most. So I have my Walmart discount card here. I have my driver's license, uh, my Costco membership card, and then I have my main credit card that I use most of the time, which is right here. I don't put anything in this pocket here because I don't want it to cover this part up and I don't want it to rub off that um, that stamping right there. So I don't put anything in this pocket, plus I don't want it to be stretched out. I will tell you that this wallet was in near new condition. It did not come with a dust bag or a box or anything like that. Um, it does have a little bit of curling, as you can see right here, but I think that is just part of how it wears and if you were to wear this in your back pocket I'm sure that that's what that would do and then this pocket here um, I do keep coins in there I'm not one to not put any type of coin in my wallet I was just I have a little coin pouch but it's more convenient for me to just put the coins in here um, I do know that from keeping the coins, it's kind of getting a little wrinkly here from the coins, but um, I'm okay with that. It closes pretty good. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't have any type of magnetic closure to hold it, but it does stay um, closed on its own pretty good. But there's no magnet, magnet, magnets in here. I'll get it out here in a minute um, to make it hook together and um, I don't have any problems with any of the glazing or any of the stitching in here. It's just holding up very well. And like I said, I've been using it for a couple months. I did get it on the pre-loved market. Um, I don't remember where the, I don't remember where the, um, this, um, product code, the date code is at on this, but anyway. Um, also on this inside right here, it does have the um, canvas monogram lining here, but on this side is the grained calfskin, and then down in there is the smooth calfskin. Also inside of the pocket of the coin pouch is the smooth um, calfskin there. That is that and there's I'm not having any issues um, the zipper is very smooth I have no problems with that and I am just very very pleased with this wallet it just works perfectly um, I can put this into my petite no way without any issues um, it fits obviously in my um, my never full but any of my wall uh, purses that I have um, it worked very well in my speedy it just fits perfectly into my organizer, my purse organizer that I use, and I am just 
even though this was considered to be a men's wallet, this has worked out perfect for me. It is exactly what I was looking for in a wallet. It's not too wide, it's not too thick, it's not too bulky. It's just, it's perfect for what I like to carry in my wallet. So, so that is it. That is my review of this product. Again, that is the Tannin Wallet from Louis Vuitton. And I hope that you have enjoyed. Um, don't forget to subscribe and um, I'll talk to you soon. Goodbye.